Hello. Good day everyone. I am Jerzen. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is a Hisense 32 inches smart TV. The remote control is not working. I show you how to fix it, if you like electronics and want also to learn about repair. You came also into the right channel. So let's get started. The symptom of this TV unit is the remote is not function, but the remote control is good. IR remote control sends out a signal using infrared light. You cannot see this light with your eyes, but by using a digital camera. TV remote controls work in a similar way, but using a type of light called infrared, or IR for short. The remote control has an LED light, in it which flashes really quickly, to emit a message which is then picked up by the TV. The remote is called the transmitter, and the TV is called the receiver. Since the problem is the receiver, let's open the TV and check the receiver circuit inside the TV. The remote control has an LED light that flashes really quick, and the photodiode is a light sensor that converts light energy into electrical energy like voltage and current. If one of this two is failed, it results to misunderstanding, like me and my girlfriend. This is a 32 inches smart TV with HD ready 1366 by 768 pixels, Vita U 2.5 operating system. Now the TV is already open, let's plug the AC cord, and let's check if where is the problem came from, either in the infrared receiver circuit, or need a software update. Let's first proceed to a voltage measurement, using our analog multimeter, let's set the range selector into 10 volts DC. And let's check the 5 volts supply output first from main PCB to infrared sensor PCB. Let's measure the 5 volts of the collector pin of this SMD transistor. The 5 volts is present from this SMD transistor. Now let's check if the 5 volts is going into the infrared receiver sensor. Let's remove this switch and check if the voltage is present. This circuit has a 9 pins, the SCL stands for serial clock, it is a line that carries data, connected to inter-integrated circuit or I2C, the SDA stands for serial data, a line that send and receive data, connected also to I2C, the ground line, the 5 volts line, the key line, LED and infrared receiver line and the 3.3 volts standby LED supply line. Using our analog multimeter, let's measure first the 3.3 volts if it was present. The 3.3 volts is located on pin number 6. The 3.3 volts is present. Now let's check the 5 volts if it was present. The 5 volts is located on pin number 5. The 5 volts is also present. Now let's remove this small circuit board and check the SCL, SDA and the infrared receiver connections. The photodiode is almost corroded, and the LED resistors are also corroded. Photodiode is used as the receiver of data encoded on an infrared beam. Ionic contamination is the cause of circuit board corrosion and cause damaging the parts, leading to electrical and component parts failure. Since we already found the trouble of this TV, let's replace the photodiode, because obviously that the corroded photodiode is the problem. But I don't have this kind of photodiode, because this photodiode is too small and has a 4 pins, now let's modify the photodiode. I found only a CRT TV photodiode on my locker. This photodiode size much bigger than original, and this photodiode pins has only 3 pins. Let's modify it. The original photodiode has 2 grounds, and the photodiode I have has only 1 ground, but it is okay, and trust me it will work. All we need on this circuit is the 5 volts line, the ground line, and the infrared line. We don't need this blue, red and the 3.3 volts connections. So let's cut it.
Now let's solder it. Let's solder first the infrared line. the ground line. And the 5 volts line. Now the modified photodiode already soldered, let's check if it is working. Seems working now. A few moments later. I screwed the modified photodiode beside the original photodiode. Now let's insert the socket terminal and put back the back cover. A few moments later. It's hard for me to put the cover back because the modified sensor hit the speaker, but I already solved it. I am not a designer engineer but I tried. Now let's put back the lock screws. Wow, look at the modified photodiode. Looks like peeping out the window. I hope you will be fine there. The TV remote control is working now. And the unit is okay now. I hope you enjoy watching my video. If you found this channel is useful, please support by clicking the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to update on my next video. Thank you for watching.